Hey guys, what's up? I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we we'll learn about continuum approach. It is very, very simple, very, very uh, effective to learn, right? But before telling you what is it, let me tell you, we study continuum, uh, continuum approach in two places, or you may say that in two subjects. One is in thermodynamics, another one is in fluid. So we will discuss, even I will tell you, continuum approach in thermodynamics perspective, right? Not in fluid perspective. All right, so let's go for it. Now, how we got this word that is continuum? We got this word from two uh, words. One is what continuous, another is what another one is what medium. Now. From continuous, we are just uh, this, uh, we are not considering OUS, and here we are not considering uh, considering MEDI, and uh, you can see this right from here. You can see this conti C O N conti nu um, right? This is how we got this continuum word. Okay, now why we have we have continuous and medium? We'll understand this from its definition. So let me just help you for after writing definition, right? In this approach, what we basically do in this approach, we consider system system to be in continuous form of matter in this approach we consider system to be in continuous form of matter right let's understand this definition continuous form of matter what is the meaning of this it is the meaning of this for understanding we need to write another word that is what random if we understand these two words one is what continuous and the another one is random we can easily able to understand what is the meaning of continuous well in life whatever example we have nothing is almost nothing is continuous everything is random even i am talking to you it is random not continuous because there is gap right in between my uh, words coming from my mouth that means it is random random means the value is not fixed right your classes uh, on YouTube are not continuous it is random continuous is what you know that it is keep going keep going keep going if it is it is uh, it is if it is if something is happening with uniform manner that is continuous we can say that but here we are considering what uh, we are considering matter right we are talking about matter we are talking about thermodynamics so in the form of thermodynamics what we can say continuous means right continuous means in the form of thermodynamics we are considering what average behavior average behavior right and this average behavior we got from two approaches one is what microscopic approach microscopic approach another one is what macroscopic approach right in my separate class i will talk about microscopic approach and microscopic approach but let me relate this first this macroscopic approach comes under what continuum approach and in thermodynamics we study macroscopic approach only not microscopic approach in macroscopic approach there are three important factors we need to know about a substance 
वन इज वट नेचर नेचर ऑफ सबस्टांस दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस नेचर एंड देन वट इज वट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सबस्टांस एंड बिहेवियर ऑफ सबस्टांस these three things are very very important for understanding macroscopic approach of macroscopic uh, uh, approach of any substance you can say this now are you going to get questions from these this uh, what whatever i have shared so far in competitive examination almost no but from where you can get question that is what most important here bt mt and this is because in continuous approach we consider average behavior right of system or you can say that average behavior of anything whatever going on right that is why this continuum approach is not valid for activity or for application purpose where we have to consider or we have to study individual molecule and if we are studying individual molecule that comes under microscopic approach not macroscopic approach now what they will ask in uh, competitive examination they will uh, competitive examination they will ask which of the following in which of the following continuum approach loses its validity they will say 1 2 3 4 example and you have to mark the correct answer in this question you may also have the answer all of this they will write vacuum technology that is vt missile technology that is mt and laser beam technology that is lbt now all these three basically loses validity because for all these three we have to study what molecular level studies required not average level study or average behavior right now this is basically we need to understand if we are studying thermodynamics for any other that's okay you can for fluid you can study further right uh, that dimensionless number comes into uh, consideration and other things comes to consideration but for thermodynamics perspective this is okay right and uh, i hope so you understand basically what is the meaning of continuum approach and its application part also right from where you can get questions right example parts well thank you very much and uh, see you soon in my next video bye bye